How are we doing everybody? I'm on the Isle of Wight. So today we're going to do some fossil hunting. We're first going to take you down to uh, Shanklin. So I'll see you then. Peace. So I'm on the island, just taking a train up to Shanklin. So now I'm going to pop into the famous Jurassic Gym shop. So I've just popped into Jurassic Gyms, um, probably put a few photos up anyways, um, some beautiful Rosasaur bits in there, absolutely chuffed with them, um, just bought a couple bits, um, one's for our lass, so she won't get to see it until she sees it physically, but uh, when you do see it, love you babe, hope you love it. Now, I'm going to pop it down through Shanklin and just try and distract me until the tide goes out, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so, I'm just walking down from Shanklin towards um, Sandown and it is absolutely gorgeous view. If you're over on the Isle of and you want a good walk, I recommend Cliff Path. It sort of connects Shanklin to Sandown. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just on it now and you can see the chalk, the Wilden Group. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I'll give you a shot in a second. Oh boy, beautiful. <laughs> about the Isle of Wight's geology. So, Jack, the Isle of Wight, it's almost been sort of flipped sideways in a way. The, the way it's been eroded, the way the rocks have been eroded, the Isle of Wight's got basically stripes across it. Stripes of strata across it, across it. So the rocks stripe across the, the island, basically. And this is an advantage because you can walk across Sandown in particular. You can walk across it and the further you walk, the younger the rocks get. And that means that there's more accessibility to more different rock types, different strata, so we can examine more fossils, we can get an understanding of how fossils and how the animals and how the environment's changed over millions of years. And what's even better is that if you go to the other side of the other white, exact same situation there, exact same situation. So you can actually get two different loads of fossils from each end of the island, basically. It's, it's it's actually spot on having that and that's why the Isle of Wight is so prolific with what kind of fossils we found here. I mean obviously we've got Neovenator, Guanodon, but you've got other fossils, loads and loads of other fossils. And I'm gonna go and get some. <laughs> so you can see I've made it down to the beach. Primarily going to be looking at all this shingly stuff for any bits of material. So, look at the bits of mudstone like this. See if there's anything in there. Put the laminations on that. It's beautiful by when we're taking that piece. So, yeah, I'm going to show off any finds out there. Just get hunting. Finding bits and pieces. I mean, this is like, looks like gutter cast material. You can see there's little white bits of what could be planted in there. Too interested in, but there's definitely material here. Too. Nice little one in the day. Got some leaf material, some plant material, and this kind of siltstone, stone type material. So unfortunately, a good chunk of the video has wind distortion of the volume, so I've actually had to do some voiceovers for this part. But you can see I've got some wood fossils, and I've got a bit of shell fossils, and the tide on this day was being quite stubborn, so I actually had to wait a, bit, a good chunk of time for it to go down before I could get around some places. See, I've got me sent round that corner. The tide is going down. I didn't check that until beforehand. So... I think it's going to be good to try and get round there. Uh, 
So this stuff right here are blocks of Vectis formation. Now this was a deposit that actually represented a lagoonal type environment that was near the sea. And you can see there's loads of different oyster fossils in there that date around about 125 million years ago. But it's not just the oysters in there, the black bits in these blocks actually represent various different vertebrates, including sharks, crocodiles, turtles, plesiosaurs, pterosaurs, and even bits of dinosaurs. But the black bits, the vertebrate bits, are actually very plentiful in these blocks, and that's what I'm looking for right now. I've got something, and it's a bit of bone there, it could be a shark spine. Now, unfortunately, a bit of it has broken off, but I'm going to take that back. Anyways, see if I can get it prepped out. Uh, that is a high bonus shark spine. Now, it did fracture into a few bits, but I'm going to take this back, pull it back up, and it should get a nice part of a fin spine from that. Look at that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Hey, hey. Even another one that I found next to it, the same block. It, this one is a bit damaged, but it's still a good, nice piece in there, so definitely taking that one back. Now this is exciting, this is a pycnodont fish tooth. Now pycnodonts were crushing fish. They actually crushed up a load of oysters and crustaceans, and they were very plentiful during the Cretaceous period. Nice little piece, this is a tooth of a lepidotic fish. Um, I forget the exact genus, it used to be classified as Lepidotes, but now it's got its own genus name, but nice little tooth to go to the collection. So, uh, what I didn't tell you about the video is that we've got a very special guest, um, and he's, he's laughing at me right now. Please, everyone, give a massive warm welcome to Bill G. Timothy. That's me. That's me. Yeah. That's his name. Really. No, but we, we've got the Ben G. Thomas on the, on the Telesaurus Yorkshire channel. That's mad. Are you on it? I am, yes. So are we, so are we. <laughs> we've, got, we've got here Mr. Benji Thomas, who's in some fish. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What do you reckon, Benji? Good fish and chips? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, 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 be a bit crunchy. So yeah, as you saw there, the Benji Thomas is featured on the Tethysaurus Yorks channel. Uh, Benji has been a very good friend of mine for the last few years and I invited him over to come and do some fossil until on the Isle of Wight with me. And we did actually find a good load of stuff, but we were in a bit of a rush, so I couldn't film it all. So what I'm gonna do is do a little compilation of some fossil finds that I and himself found while we were there. Hope you enjoyed that. Look at that, that is the British Desert, also known as the Sandown Beach. Sandown is not Sandown, it's Sandown blowing in the wind. So I want the moon back, it's Sandown. So we're all surviving, we're all getting on, we're all going to get a sense back, uh, back home. Have we had a good time for the eyes? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. found a copyright possibly. So you found a big lump of... Uh, yeah, so can't say the other word for the channel, can't say the other <laughs> word. Yeah. But yeah, but thank you very much for watching. Um, if you don't know Benji Thomas, and I'd be surprised if you don't, please go over and subscribe to his channel. Absolutely great. See you later. Ta-da.